everybody, this is going to be the most entertaining part of the entire program because we will analyze the culture of the last 10 years, so we'll start from the beginning. In the 1960s, deep cultural changes were altering the role of women in the society. More females than ever were entering the paid workforce, and this increased the dissatisfaction among women regarding huge gender disparities in pay and at the workplace. One of the most profound changes was happening in the bedroom. By the end of the 60s, more than 80% of women were using contraception after the birth control pill was approved. This freed many women from unwanted pregnancy and gave them many more choices and freedom in their personal lives. Gradually, society came to accept some of the basic goals of the 60s feminists. Equal pay for equal work, an end to domestic violence, to sexual harassment and sharing of responsibilities for housework. New technology, such as dish and laundry washing machine, made it easier and faster for houseworks to be completed. Therefore, leisure time was at its peak. It was mainly spent at the parks, playing frisbee or hula hoop. Picnics were also frequent. People enjoyed going to the seaside on weekends, riding their brand new car or scooter. Also in this period, the bikini became popular. Discos were the most entertaining place to spend the evening at, dancing with friends, and it was because the quiz was so simple that it became the most common dance. In addition, women were helped by new tools for babyhood, the model of cradle, dolls and games such as Bobby Lego, the nappy pampers and food for childhood were released. We'll continue with the match game in a moment, but first here is this message of interest to all. This portion of the match game is brought to you by... Television was quickly introduced and citizens began spending more leisure time in front of the television rather than outdoors. The 60s was the decade in which television became almost universal and together with the radio it was the most popular gadget that people owned. The 60s featured many diverse and wonderful styles. People would often dress in mismatching colors or pattern and would often mix in psychedelic prints. In the early part of the 1960s, 
London modernists, often referred to as the Mods, were rapidly redefining British fashion with a modern approach to colour and the use of makeup. The pixie cut, false eyelashes and the overuse of eyeliner all made an appearance during this decade. Tricky was not only an extremely successful model in the 60s, she was a real fashion icon. This girl was very skinny and from now on all the ladies were not appreciated. one of the most influential icons of the last decade, but she is still having a fundamental problem in society. She's Twiggy, let's see her in action! Going into a whole new world. She can earn 300 guineas a week standing on her twig like legs. You got me wrapped around your little. America fashion in the early 60s strongly mirrored the grace and elegance of the first lady Jacqueline Kennedy. Business women would often wear suits, usually pastel colored, with short jackets or a simply designed geometric dress. Stilettos and the pillbox hat were also becoming increasingly popular. In the 1964, designer Mary Quant released the miniskirt. By the end of the 60s, the miniskirt had been owned and worn by almost all the young fashionable females. Bell bottoms and incense, long hair, free love, headbands and bare feet were all coming alive as the 60s were drawing to an end. 1968 marked the beginning of the androgynous style we know as the hippie look. Passed along the 